Alright, let's go to this one. This one? Yeah. Alright, go ahead, take it. 3 5 contradiction that 1 2 3 is right. Oh, sorry, we have to do that weird thing where you have to show the knot there. Yeah, well, what is the contradiction, right? Like, you need something to contradict. Mm -hmm. And so, a contradiction means that you have to have something which you know is false. Um, so, we know that this is actually... Well, actually, if you put in your calculator, what do you actually get? Wait, yeah, use your change of base. Oh, uh, yeah, put, like, what? Log E on... Log E of 3 on log E of 2 or something. 1.584. And then what happens when you try and convert it? Nothing, right. So, okay, so suspicion is that it's irrational already. Suspicion. <laughs> uh, not as conclusive as root, not as popular as root 2, but, you know, um, there is definitely some uh, intuition there behind it. So, let's assume it's rational, right? So, assume log base 2 of 3 is rational. So it's kind of different to like, you know, the ones when I say like you write a statement and then like you have to prove it and stuff. Like this one, we're not required to prove that it's rational because we're assuming it, right? It's kind of like your second step of induction or whatever. So, um, but in this case we show it's not true. Right. And now like we have restrictions on P and Q here, right? Because if you think about your uh, logarithmic graph, there's particular values which we can take. Um, so... I'm trying to think if P and Q can be, can be they can be negative though, so. Um, Wait, integers not negative? Um, I, um, sorry, they should be ne integers, yeah. Yeah, integers and uh, remember the other condition that P and Q have to have. Right, so co prime or highest factor is one. So it's basically saying, hey, we can write this fraction in its most simplified form. Um, the reason why that's important is because that's actually the condition we use for the contradiction, right? Um, but in the last one that we had, we, we did something, like the root 2 and we could square both sides, right? But this one, I mean, there's not really much we can do with that. Yeah, like, we, like yeah, we could square both sides, but, I mean, that's not, is that, that's not really going to help us. Right, so it, like the, the, the tricky thing with these proofs is that it, it's always going to be different depending on the question that you're going to get. So in this case, yeah, what can you do with logs? You can rearrange them in a particular way. Um, what, what would this be in our exponential form or whatever? How would you write that? Um, two, uh, yep. Oh, then we can write that as a... Um, How could you write that? Square root of... Yeah, like a radical form. Yeah, yeah radical. like with the, the the roots and stuff. Yeah, so you could say that the qth root of <laughs> is that what you're kind of saying, right? Yeah, we can. Do yeah, that well. right. So there's all like I think the important thing is you just try different things and you see what happens, right? Um, in this case, you got to think about okay, is it obvious immediately obvious that there's a contradiction here? And the answer is probably not. Right. So you want to think about something that's immediately obvious is a contradiction. Like before, when we had that um, this co-prime kind of thing, right? Let's go back. Let's go back a step. Right. We want to have some kind of comparison between two and three, right? Because we have, right now we know that okay, there's two to some kind of power is meant to equal to three. Um, I guess it's, it'd be kind of, if you're trying to think about that, you, you probably can't think of an example. But for, to make that even clearer how this is going to work, right, how can we sort of incorporate this power to both of these elements? That's the kind of question that I have, right? So how can I say 2 to the power of something is equal to 3 to the power of something? Because that way, it's going to be pretty clear that there's a contradiction. Because 2 to the power of something should always be an even number, 3 to the power of something should be an odd number, right? So I just want to have... Three, three yeah. to the power one right now, right? right? yeah. Can't compare them to the different base. Mm, yes, this is true. But can I do something with these indices here? Yes, you can. What can I do? I don't know. Think about it as a fraction, right? How can we, in a sense, remove fractions? What do we usually do? Like, if it was just a normal equation? Yeah. 
So you'd multiply by the denominator, like you multiply both sides by three in this case to remove this fraction. We can actually do something here. If you think about your index laws, right? How can I multiply the index by what's on the denominator, right? Well, wh when do you multiply indices together? With the power and the power, right? So what you do, what I can do is like a little algebraic trick. Yeah, raise both sides to the power Q. And what I'll end up with is that these two will divide through. And I'll just end up with 2 to the power P. Well, it's the same thing as putting it into the square root form and when you take both sides to the power of Q. Oh, yeah, then you could have done that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you had the Q root of 2 to the power P, and then you raise, you Q, Q both sides. Yeah, right, yeah, okay. So 2 to the power P is 3 to Q. Yeah, yeah, awesome. You can do that too. Either way, right. And so here, I think we've done enough to say that there's a contradiction, right? Because 2 to the power something should always be, you've done that in binary, right? It should be an even number, yeah? Because you're just multiplying even numbers together. And 3 to the power something, that should always be an odd number. And so there's a contradiction, right? So therefore, there is a contradiction. To the power of p is always even. Yeah, I didn't double check that. No, my car alarm doesn't sound like that. And 3 to the power of q is always odd. Like. Well, from that last time, yeah. <laughs> 2 to the power of p is always even, 3 to the power of q is always odd, um, and there's a contradiction. Cool. And that's um, a log proof that's irrational.